welcome back to my channel. This is ICD Movie Reviews. My name is Owen Debrinka and welcome guys to another movie review. Today I'm going to review a new romantic drama film, All My Life. This movie stars Harry Shim Jr. and Jessica Roof. A couple's wedding plan has been turned down when they find out that the fiancé, played by Harry Slim Jr., finds out he has cancer. This is all I want on my wedding day. So? Hey, if we get bad news, we should get a dog. Don't say that. We're getting good news. He's ours. They found cancer, and it spread. We don't have much time left. This movie is based on a true story about a real-life couple named Solomon and Jennifer. This is a couple that's going through the same issue that the movie was. So, I watched the trailer once and the reason why I want to see this movie is because of Jessica Roof, who was in Happy Death Day, which coincidentally, I have reviewed Freaky, who took from the director of Happy Death Day. So now we get to see Jessica Roof in a complete different genre because she was good in Happy Death Day, now she's going to be in a romantic drama movie. And also, I went to see this movie because I was basically bored. I was like, okay, I just want to see a movie. So I just found out All My Life came out and I'm like, okay, it's another one of those romantic movies that's going to be very, very sad, but it's also based on a true story so I could get away with it. And that's basically what All My Life is. When I walked out of it, it's exactly what I thought it's going to be. It's a charming, sweet movie. It's one of those movies that I feel like it's a matinee movie. It's a movie that you can only watch once and you probably never watch it again. It's not that I didn't like the movie. I think there are some really great qualities with this movie, especially Harry Slim Jr. and Jessica Roof's chemistry in the film. Those two made me enjoy the film quite a bit, actually. I think the acting in this film was fantastic in the movie, especially Jessica Roof in the film. Wow, coming from Happy Death Day to this, she proves to us that she can act in a movie. She did a really great job in this film, especially from all the emotional scenes she go through in the movie. Even Harry Slim Jr., who I only known him from Glee, and he did a really good job in the film. I want to see him act in more movies. He did a really good job in this film, surprisingly, and them two chemistry really stood out for me and made me enjoy this film a lot more. As I said before, this movie is based on a real-life love story that actually happened back in 2015, I think. I did some of the research that Solomon had cancer while they're playing on their wedding and yeah the story was pretty sad it was pretty tragic and when you watch this film with all those cliches that people could think oh this movie is very cliche it's another one of those cliche romance movies the movie is based on a true story so with my perspective it got away for it for me like with all the cliches saying like oh we're in love doing these one-liners that's been in so many movies before i have cancer all that stuff like i can understand that it's based on a true story, so it can get away with it for me. Kind of like with I Still Believe, which people find out exactly the same. That it's very cliche, it's something we've seen before, but it's based on a real life love story. So with this movie, I kind of feel the same way with I Still Believe, even though I do think I Still Believe is better than this movie. I would say a good thing about this movie is that it's sad at times, but also goes back to happy times. It's one of those movies that it's not like I Still Believe, where it goes sadder and worse and worse and worse. This movie kind of goes from sad happy, sad, happy, it really couldn't decide what the movie's going to be in possibly a very good way. Overall guys, I know it's a bit of a short review, but that's how I kind of felt with all my life. It's a simple film that is based on a true story and you do fall in love with this couple in the movie. It's one of those one dumb movies that I'll probably never watch again, but it's a very charming film. I feel like you can watch this with a date or you can just watch a movie by yourself or with friends to have a bit of a cry. It's definitely one of those movies. Actually, I would say one of the flaws of the movie, when you see the ending, you know, based on the true story endings, you see the real-life couple. That couple looks nothing like the cast of the movie. Like, honestly, like, when I see this couple, I'm like, they look nothing like Jessica Roth and Harry Slim Jr. Like, what the hell? But I'm a bit nitpicky on that, because it's probably going to be hard to find the people that look exactly like them. But overall, guys, I would say All My Life is just a very simple romantic drama film that you'll definitely have a good cry, but it's definitely one of those movies I'll probably never watch again. I'm going to give All My Life a 6 out of 10. 
So guys, that is my review of All My Life. Let me know what you think of this movie in the comments below. Do you like the movie, hate the film, or you thought it's okay? Just let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Status, Instagram, Twitter. Keep contacting me and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Notify for my latest movie reviews. And have a nice day.